Gary Kum, heads of government, heads of state and government. That's what brings us together today. A political crisis, escalating violence, unrest. This has created an untenable situation for the Haitian people. And we all know that urgent action is needed on both the political and security tracks to help move things in a better direction, to help do right by the people of Haiti. Given this increasingly urgent need, um, I'm announcing today that the United States Department of Defense is doubling its approved support for the mission from $100 million to $200 million. And that brings the total U.S. support to $300 million for this effort. I'm also announcing additional humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, $33 million to further support their health and food security. So I think we've had a, an intense uh, and good day today already. Uh, this is coming together in a positive direction, and I hope the discussions we'll continue to have uh, can now uh, finalize a plan that will move us forward. This is a critical point in the history of the Caribbean. The situation in Haiti, a fellow CARICOM member state, demands urgent action. Right now, the people of Haiti are suffering. They're unable to deal with their basic needs and are being killed indiscriminately. Too many have had to flee for their lives. While women have been violated and children traumatized, more Haitians have died in these four months of 2024 than in the war in Ukraine. CARICOM could not and will not stand idly by with these developments continuing to unfold. We are deeply distressed that it is already too late for too many who have lost far too much at the hands of criminal gangs. The fear of the situation in Haiti, worsening to become a civil war, is now a real one. We are all agreed that this cannot be allowed to happen, not in our hemisphere, with our long-standing democratic tradition and reputation as a zone of peace. Over many decades, international assistance has been given to Haiti towards the development of a foundation for free and fair elections, reliable and capable national institutions, and sustained socioeconomic development. <laughs> It's a pregnant.
Thank you. 